So we will move forward uh, with the hands-on session by Mr. Viraj Kharka. So over to you, Viraj. You can start the session. Uh, hello, everyone. So today I'm going to demonstrate two multi-phase uh, problems. So before that, I I'm going to share a link where you have a, a tutorial video as well as the case file. So you, you guys can download now. First of all, uh, just click on the video multi-phase modeling in open form uh, UF. So th in that video, uh, uh, the case folder and the geometry are uh, described in detail uh, way. So make sure to click that uh, video first and understand uh, what, uh, the, what the case is. I'm going to demonstrate after uh, maybe like 20 minutes. I hope uh, everyone has seen the video. Now I'm going to demonstrate to everyone. Please go to the download folder where you have downloaded and go to the BOF. I think I'm unmuted. So I'm going to do from the first. So what I did is, so everyone, please go to the run directory. I, I type the run command. So inside that, I have already pasted the, the UF bubble folder uh, inside the run directory. So I'm going to press this command. So CD, the UF bubble. So you can uh, type tab in order to uh, complete the command. So, so I'm inside the UF bubble. So is everyone? Uh, done uh, until this process. Type is if you have uh, completed until this process. Now, what are the files? So let's type this command. So ls space asterisk. So if you put this command, so it will give inside the zero folder, there is alpha dot water, which is the volume fraction or phase fraction of the water, which is the original, which is the initial condition and uh, PRGH. So in the VOF, the PRGH file is required, not the pressure. So this is uh, the pressure without the hydrostatic component as you have already like get that information from the video. And another one is the velocity boundary condition. So inside the constant, there is Z, which is uh, gravity file. So if, if you have to mention the uh, value of the acceleration due to gravity. So you can uh, mention in this uh, Z file and in the transport properties. So you can define the kinematic viscosity of the different fluids. Like let's say if there is a water or it's uh, or air. So if you have a two fluids, namely air and water, so you can give the kinematic viscosity and density in this transport properties file. And in the turbulence properties, you can mention if there is a, if you want to mention uh, the turbulence turbulence model like Kf epsilon or something, or even the laminar simulation, you can mention here. So in the block mesh stick, you can mention the, uh, you can define the mesh, like how much division and grading and the patches. And in the control tick, the you can define the end time, start time, uh, maximum current number. So uh, those those kind of information you can find here. And for the FV schemes, what kind of schemes uh, do you want to solve for the discretization of the equation? Like let's say there is a gradient scheme, uh, Laplacian scheme, so you can define here. And in the FV solution, what uh, tolerance uh, would you like to give? What relaxation factor would you like to give for the uh, parameters? So you can define here. So this is the new term. This is a new file, which is set field dig. Uh, which is commonly common file uh, used in the multi-phase flow, uh, namely in uh, BOF, uh, even in the Eulerian, uh, Eulerian approach. So in the set field dict, you uh, fix the uh, field. Uh, like let's say if there is, a, if you want to define the uh, volume fraction of water in a certain region, so you can define here. So let's go there. Let's first uh, go to the mesh. G edit system inside the system you can go to the block mesh. 
So you can see the block mesh dict, right? So only one block is given for the this bubble column. So we don't need to define uh, uh, more than one block. So 100 division is done in the x-axis, 150 division in the y-axis, and one in z-axis. And simple grading, we have not uh, defined any uh, other uh, grading except uh, one. And uh, for the edges, there is no any edges. So for the boundary, we have walls and the atmosphere. That's it. Atmosphere is the top part of the bubble column, while the rest of the yeah rest of the patch is walls. And uh, okay, and we don't need to match the pair, pair, match pairs. So so it is empty. So after that, close this, and let's go to the boundary condition. G edit zero. So type this command. I think you have already familiar with the Linux command. So you can type this command to in order to view the velocity boundary condition. So in the wall, no slip boundary condition is applied. So this is very this is like straightforward. And for the atmosphere, we have given the pressure inlet outlet velocity condition. As Janenima has already given you the information. What's the pressure inlet outlet velocity uh, is about? So, so if you define the pressure inlet outlet velocity, so you need to give the uh, total pressure boundary condition in the pressure PRGS file. So th that will give the well posed problem. Otherwise, uh, if you define other uh, uh, boundary condition, uh, you may you may get some er some error. So that's why these two uh, boundary condition uh, match the best. So the the default faces. Uh, is considered empty. So I'm I'm going to close this for the P as yet. We don't need, we don't have any P file. We uh, the P is derived from the P R G H, where P R G H equals to P minus uh, rho G H. So in in case of buoyancy flow, uh, in, in case the body force acts uh, significant, so we need to define the P R G H. I think. Uh, one, uh, you guys have like problem uh, regarding the differentiating between the PRGS and P5. So I think that clears that out. And for the walls, we have given the fixed flux pressure. So what it does is it sets the pressure gradient to the value such so that the, the that flux is coming, uh, that flux is calculated from the velocity boundary condition. So it set the uh, that pressure gradient. So and the value is given uniform zero for the initialization. So it is just a placeholder. And the, for the atmosphere, we have given the total pressure, uh, and the uh, total pressure is given as uniform zero. So if you define the pressure inlet outlet velocity, you have to define the total pressure. Okay, and the rest of the face is defined as empty. Uh, now let's go to the alpha zero. Al alpha dot water dot origin. So the initially, like we have defined uh, the, in, the uniform zero, and it it doesn't have it is dimensionless, so no dimensions. And for the walls, the zero gradient is given. So it so as the as we know the surface tension between the wall and the interface, uh, we can give uh, we can also give the constant alpha contact angle, uh, which is ninety degree for this case. If we neglect the surface tension between the walls and the interface. And for the simpler boundary condition, we can we can use the zero gradient. Otherwise, you can also give constant alpha contact angle. And for the atmosphere, it provides a generic outflow condition with specified info for case of in case of reverse flow. If you if you think there is a reverse flow, you can use this boundary condition. If there is a reverse flow, if you just type type zero gradient, then it uh, then the solution will crash in that in that case. So make sure you do this. And for the default phases, it is considered empty. Okay. Now let's go to the constant directory. Transport properties. So in phases, we namely have uh, the fluids, water, and air. So water is uh, defined first. So you have to define alpha dot water, and also even the so even in the set field dig, you can you you have to define the alpha dot water, not the air. But if you define the air at first. Then you you have to define alpha dot air. Okay, for the water, Newtonian uh, transport model is used, and the kinematic viscosity is ten to the power minus six, and the density is one thousand kg per meter cube. 
per air, same. It's Newtonian transport model is used. And the 1.48 into 10 to the power minus 5 kinematic viscosity is used. And uh, namely, one uh, one kg per meter cube is only defined as a density of the air. And sigma, so this is uh, another term, which is surface tension between the, the water and air. So it is 0 0.07. I think everyone has. So, OK. Understood until this uh, process. OK, let's go to the system and control D. Only thing I want to mention is in the application, we, uh, we define as interform. Rest of the uh, information we can see in the pimple form as well. But the difference is maximum alpha current number. We have said one. So if alpha current number gets uh, above one, so it will limit that. So we have to define this. And adjust uh, time step is con it's set S. Yes. So if you define maximum alpha current number one, maximum current number as one, so the, uh, automatically, if we set S, yes, then it will adjust the time step. Like let's say 0 0.001 or sometimes 0 0.005. 0 0 .005. So yeah, it will set based upon the these values. If you, uh, you can also even define 0 0.8 uh, for the maximum current number. Now let's go to the set filtic, which is uh, one of the important files. So the default fill values. So in the column, so we have set the default values as alpha dot water as one. So the in the double column, we have defined entire uh, volume as one. It means that it, it is entirely filled with water. But there is some section where we have to define the uh, bubble. So first of all, uh, type reasons and inside reasons, you have to define cylinder to cell. So I think uh, Harris has already mentioned about cylinder to cell in the topo set. So it is the same. It works the same way. Like you have to define the two points and the radius. So the uh, initial uh, initial point and the final point for the cylinder and the radius. And in that in that reason, in that cylinder, uh, the the alpha dot water is zero. That means the air is fully covered in that region. And where we also have to define a cavity, uh, air cavity. So in that case, box two cell is uh, needs to define. And in that case, the maximum x y z value and minimum um, minimum x y z value and maximum uh, x y z value needs to be defined. And in that case also, the alpha dot water is considered zero. So that means alpha dot air will be one. The T1, P2, the uh, why two ready uh, two points is required because one point okay, is okay. Okay. So in order to define the cylinder, so we have to give the two points, right? So let's say this is uh, uh, like, can you see the mic cursor? Yes, yes. So this is like a cylinder. So the you have to give the two points in order to define the height of the cylinder. So the the this height zero point zero zero one. 0.001 is the height of the cylinder in the okay. g-axis and the radius you also have to give the radius right so the circle the circular radius is uh, 2 mm okay. Okay. understood okay. but for the box to cell uh, the normal glazer is a bit different you have to give the minimum xyz and the maximum xyz so that is the only thing so we are all set. Now we have to uh, first generate the mesh. For that, you already know block mesh needs to be generated. So block mesh, the number of cells is 15,000. So a bit closer. And uh, after that, set field. So we have, so the difference is you have to uh, define the set field command. So it will set the value. See, setting internal values of Volume scalar field alpha dot water because this is the default value we have given in the set field. Deck. And uh, other than that, we have also defined the reason where uh, we need uh, the alpha dot water as zero. So that means uh, it will be filled with air, the box and the cylinder. Okay. In order to define the cylinder, the point one and point two means uh, the upper cylinder and the lower cylinder points and the radius. Excuse me, what do you have done now? Meaning, uh, after you are looking at all the files, what do you have done? What the so what we have done is we have pressed this block mesh command 
Oh, block mesh. Yes, correct. Because in order to run the mesh, block mesh has to be generated. Uh, any, any mesh, you can even uh, import the mesh as well. So if you have to define the, if you have to import the mesh from Fluent, you can use Fluent 3D mesh to form and give that uh, MSH file name. And it will automatically generate the mesh in the poly mesh folder. So it does the same thing. If you generate the poly, uh, block mesh, so you can see now ls and asterisk. So you can see poly mesh has been already generated because I have already uh, used the command block mesh. So poly mesh has been already generated. The points, faces I have been already defined in that poly mesh. Understood? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now after that, uh, we are, we need to use the we need to solve right. So in order to do that, we have to call the solver name interform. Now it's running. The case is pretty simple. It will take like one or two minutes. Meanwhile, you can also even run in your system. If you have any doubts, please feel free to ask. Sir, exactly. We have tried uh, first block mess. Then yes. we have typed set field. Or the, uh, after block mess, set field, then interform, right? Interform, Three. correct, correct, correct. Okay, thank you. The uh, SET, like F capital, I E L D S. Okay, set fields. Yes. If you don't know the commands, just write tab. See, C S E T, type this. And if you don't know the spelling, just type tab. Just press the tab, it will automatically uh, complete the command. Okay, okay, okay. Now, okay, the simulation has already uh, been done. So let's type paraform. Now I'm going to show why, like we have to define the two uh, fields. So in order to see that, I, I will I will wait. I will wait. Go to the VTK block colors, okay? And go to the alpha dot water because this is the multi phase. So we want to see, we want to visualize uh, which part is the water, which part is the air. So as you can see from the level itself. So this is the air. See alpha dot water, the value of alpha dot water is zero here. So this is cylinder to cell. So if you visualize in 3D, so this is like a circular and this is circular, right? So if you see, if you visualize in 3D, it will be a cylinder. So we have to define the like center point of this point, uh, let's say this point, and we have to define the this point and the radius, the radius. I think someone has asked why we have to define the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. So I think you are, uh, I think the doubt is clear, right? Yes, yes sir. Thank you. Okay. That's why, like, and box to cell. So box to cell is this. So we have to define this cavity as air. So we, are, we need to define box to cell. See, so this is like a box, right? And this is the cylinder. Otherwise, entire domain is water. So we have defined is we find we have defined in the set field is entire domain is covered with water, and from that uh, domain we need this this uh, cylinder to cell and this block cell as alpha dot air. So so this is the yeah. initialization. Basic, okay, basically we are patching the uh, reasons inside. Yes, correct, correct. We are initializing the field. So this is the yeah. uh, this is at the zero time. Now let's see uh, what will happen. Uh, in the next time step, like slowly see, like okay, let's. Uh, sir, I want to ask uh, okay. here, ki, what if it is a three D? If it is a three D, then we have to put a sphere, right? It is a we are, yeah, yeah, we are yeah. doing this yeah, yeah, one yeah. considering it is a two D. Yes, we are that's doing. That's why. Want... So that's yes. why we have put the default faces as empty. If it is, is a. Uh, yeah, yeah. So in order to define the uh, sphere, we, there is also a command which is sphere to cell. Okay. 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 Yeah. In order to define the sphere, there is also another command you can use sphere to cell. So you can Google it. You can find the syntax. Okay. Okay. So let's see what will happen. Slowly, slowly, uh, the bubble is rising up, and it goes to the surface so this is what we are simulating for this case the blow the bubble slowly uh, wobble up 
and uh, go to the surface flow due to its due to the buoyancy the forces right the gravity is also acting and uh, this is if you also want to see the PRGS see because uh, why we need PRGS is uh, the BOF solves the momentum equation uh, in P, uh, in PRGS for, uh, format it doesn't solve uh, in uh, like I also want to show you the source code so the U equation so this is C uh, I think John sir has already mentioned go to the cpb.openform.org so you can find the uh, source file. So go to the U equation and go to the source code of this file. So see, surface normal gradient of the PRGS. While solving the momentum equation, it will solve this PRGS. So that's why it is needed for surface tension force. This is the body force. And here DDD rho is defined. Turbulence, this. I think it is here from the equation. Now I'm going to, uh, I think everyone has simulated this bubble rise problem. Now uh, let's move to the next problem, uh, which is a dam break simulation. Uh, sir, uh, how can we just uh, I mean, save this animation or animate animate this? Uh, okay, go to the save and go to the file. See, go to the file and save animation and OGV. There is no MP4 because uh, this is the older version of Paraview. Uh, in newer version, there is also MP dot MP4 uh, format, so you can save in that. Now uh, you uh, now just uh, save in the dot OGB uh, format. Just type alpha. Okay, this is the PRG. See, okay, alpha dot water. Okay. So file, save animation. Volume fraction. Water. Okay. And the this this option will be shared. So you can define frame rate as one or two, even more than that. So for, for me, like I, I would just set frame rate as one. So it is exporting. It is exporting. Okay. Now it will shape inside here the uh, this DF bubble. So you can see volume fraction water dot OGB. So this is a, it is going very slow because as I have said, only the frame rate as one, you can even set uh, frame rate more than that. This is how you can save the animation. Okay, sir. thank you. Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. So can you explain what is this inlet outlet boundary condition? So what exactly are the conditions uh, for that? Okay, for the, so let's say like for the alpha dot uh, water, right? Mm -hmm. I will show you alpha dot OGV. This, the inlet outlet uh, condition, like in, in case if there is a reverse flow, then it will uh, supply the in, uh, it will apply the inlet value, which is a fixed value. Okay. And otherwise it will give the zero gradient boundary. Then this is a very flexible boundary condition. So okay. it, you won't get uh, the like numerical errors and the simulation won't crash. If you use this kind of boundary condition in data. Okay. Okay. Understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. This is a hybrid. Like if you go to the source file, uh, SR, type SRC and type zero this. Uh, inlet outlet, right? Inlet outlet. Maybe you can find. See, there are lots of. Uh, so it is defined in lot of files. So we'll just go to the FP patch field, and there is a derived. Okay, finite volume field. So this okay CD finite volume patch. We'll go with this. Fields. If you want to search, uh, just type this. Come on. Okay. 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 Finite yeah. volume fields. Uh, FP patch fields. F. Fields. FP patch fields. And go to the thing derived. 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 And there is so many boundary conditions. See, inlet, outlet, free stream. 
So you can find uh, like tracer in rate outlet velocity, you see. So you can go to the source code and see like what, what it does. Okay. 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 I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, hello, open for me is black box. You can, you just have to find it. I uh, can you show the paraview one more. Okay, okay, paraview. Okay. Anyway, after point three seconds, the, the interface between air and water is changed, right? After uh, alpha dot water. This uh, after, now after point three seconds after this. Now it, the, the interface is wavy like this. So can you capture the interface like a curve or something? Uh so like uh, like you want to increase the end uh, capture the interface capture the interface for capturing the interface like this it's, it's a it's a curve right it's a wavy uh, it's a wavy yeah so can you plot can you plot it on a uh, graph like the interface uh like plot over time or something uh plot, no plot over the height and uh, maybe radius like I don't the height of the interface from bottom. High height of the interface from bottom. Okay, for that case, like uh, I don't know that. I, I need to explore that in order okay. to get that height. Uh, also, you can do what you can do is like get the volume fraction data from this oh. domain and uh, export it in the CSV and uh, do the analysis. Maybe from okay. that. Because in the interface, like you can see, like this is the zero alpha dot water, and this is the one. Okay. So you can uh, do the analysis from that. Okay. So now let's go to the another uh, tutorial. So in that folder, I have already given. So you can go to the PDF file. So downloads and UF. So you can see dam break simulation. Now we are going to do the dam break simulation. So you can start, you can look at that uh, handout and follow the process. So if you have any uh, doubts or error, uh, I will demonstrate after like 10 or 15 minutes. And there is also a problem at the end. So I want to make it interactive. So make a water level, same as the height of wall without changing any other thing. I think there is some type of, so any other thing and simulate what will happen. So this is a class work for you. First simulate first this step and after that go into this. If you have any problem uh, regarding the bubble rights, so you can uh, place your queries in the chat. Uh, even on with yourself. Hello. Uh, exactly. I have a question that uh, regarding that uh, P R G H that part. That's a uh, pressure one. Pressure. Uh, 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 that's a uh, uh, file. That's a yeah, pressure yeah. R G H file. That's yes. one also. Winning previous one and this one. I want to ask. That's uh, top boundary condition. That's we are putting atmosphere. The name mm -hmm. is atmosphere. In that one, if you we can see that previously also we have given some uh, bound uh, pre, that boundary condition or the name is total pressure or something we have given. Yes, yes. Uh, here also in this case also when I am seeing it meaning I am talking about this uh, dam one dam a uh, dam yeah, break. Correct, correct. Here also I am getting a break. It is a total pressure. My my point is here that uh, why we are uh, giving that. Uh, Total pressure. If I my point is, uh, if I will give it fixed uh, flux pressure, also what the problem it will happen because the pressure is not going to affect to that top. Uh, why it is so? If it is changed to the uh, left, right, and uh, bottom boundary could same, then what the difference? Would be? So in order to distinguish between the walls and the atmosphere, so we have given the fixed flux pressure in the walls. So all three walls are imposed. Right. Yes, yes, yes. In that case, like uh, what it does is the pressure gradient is set from the uh, like such that the ve uh, velocity velocity flux will come from the velocity boundary condition because we have defined in the no slip condition. But in case of uh, this atmosphere, we don't know the velocity. In the no slip, we know that uh, in the wall we know that velocity, right? Because no, yes. there will be zero. But in the atmosphere, we don't know that. 
so in order to okay. in order to give uh, in order to model that we can give the boundary condition such that uh, it will uh, it will be uh, like uh, it will be okay for both the uh, pressure condition as well as velocity condition so in that case total pressure uh, needs to be defined okay and the pressure p0 value we are giving at uniform it is zero yeah that's that is zero p0 which uh, is total have you re uh, uh, have you remembered in that uh, previous one we are given value uniform is equal to also zero we have written that in previous code we have given that in that uh, third uh, line will be there yes. value ha huh, same thing we have written it in the previous code also that's yeah. uh, meaning three lines but another line was written value uniform is equal to zero also yeah so why no, this uh, value is uh, written if uh, what is the difference between that uh, value uniform is equal to zero and uh, okay okay you want... I, will, i will explain so in this case this is for the initialization the value is given for the initialization for to even run the simulation you have to initialize right so right, this right. is this is the initialization but in this case p not is the total pressure is zero so this is a bit different this is not for the initialization this is the total pressure uh, is uh, considered zero as a like boundary condition this is a this is set the p not is set as zero understood okay. meaning it is a combination of uh, boundary condition and initial conditions a uh, combination of, no no i am just telling that for the atmosphere in the velocity what what is the boundary condition can you can you see can you say is it pressure in red outlet velocity uh it is uh, at the boundary condition for velocity uh, velocity will be uh, there is no velocity is not in pressure in red outlet velocity see yes i have mentioned so in if we define this pressure in red outlet velocity we have to give the total pressure boundary condition i will also show you the cfd online in that case yeah this see hi pressure in red outlet velocity boundary condition are to be used with in red outlet boundary condition for the u field and you use total pressure or and fixed value for the p field these uh, these boundary condition guarantee a well pose problem so in order to like solve the boundary condition error so this will guarantee a well pose problem in case uh, we have like pressure measures and the back flow expected if there is a reverse flow or something like we can use uh, this total pressure and pressure inlet outlet velocity boundary condition okay so i will use the same thing okay thank you Yes, Steve. As mentioned, like, uh, can we refine the case? Yeah, certainly. I I can show you. Like, it it can take just, it can take a uh, longer time than the previous case. So what I would do, uh, what I would do is copy this, go to the run directory, cp r uf bubble, and uh, what I would give is refine uf uh, bubble. So let's go to refine. You have heard about GAD. So, in order to change the mesh, uh, you already know we go to the block mesh, and what I would change is like let's say uh, multiply by two, okay, two hundred. It will be very large. See? Previously, it's hundred, so I would give as like one fifty, and uh, this as a Forty, okay. Let's change this, okay. So I already saved it and close. Now what I will do is para foam. No foam clean case. Now to do the other case and block mesh. Now the number of cells has been increased. See thirty six thousand. Previously it uh, it was about fifteen thousand or something, right? Now it's thirty six thousand. So it has been increased, so it will take a time, longer time. So it fills and in the point. I don't think there is much difference between the previous solution and now, like now current solution. Let's see what will happen. Still running. It's taking a lot. 
Biras, in I have in those comments only I have something to ask. In those okay. boundary conditions, there is a, every time we are writing inlet. Uh, for example, type is inlet outlet. Yeah. Uh, then inlet outlet uniform we are writing uniform zero if it is a non-uniform for example mm -hmm. that's boundary that some portion is uh, is different other portion is something different so how it can be written is there uh, in yeah, that... non-uniform can also be different but uh, like along the all uh, like along the path we have to define uh, like in order to define like the same value uh, we can define it as a uniform Otherwise, you can give uh, other boundary condition as well, non-uniform as well. Like non-uniform non means like, uh, like let's say a parabolic boundary condition, something like that. Uh, yes, meaning uh, what are the boundary condition, how we will define and they are only uh, how we will write it. Any, give me any hints, meaning how okay. generally. I think you, uh, you were present in the, like yesterday's session. Uh, in that session, Johnson has mentioned how to define the parabolic uh, inlet velocity. So in order to do that, you uh, you have to do the coded fix, code stream or code type coded uh, like programming in the boundary condition and uh, give the parabolic uh, inlet. I think you have missed us. Okay. Something like My, I'm running, maybe yeah. I have one. Okay, fine. That is one thing. Second thing also, uh, when we are discussing, uh, you can see that uh, uh, in that uh, whatever that I have asked you, uh, maybe it is in in that uh, PDF only. Mm -hmm. For second second line, uh, second page, second page in the atmosphere, it is written type is inlet outlet, then inlet in uh, inlet value uniform is zero. Then it has written value uniform is equal to zero. I think my question is. Inlet value, if anything has been written, then why again the value uniform zero has been written okay, okay. again? So why it is two things? Mm -hmm. That's the question previously also I have asked. But my point is, what is the difference of having those two? Okay. So let's see. The value is just for the uh, initialization, but the inlet value, inlet value is in case. Like if there is like a, there is an like out for inflow, right? So for if there is an inflow or like let's say if there is like a reverse flow, then it will define as a inlet value. So in the alpha dot zero, right? This is mentioned in the alpha dot water, right? It is uh, alpha dot water. Yes, yeah. Yes. So yes. inside that alpha dot water, the velo the velocity of water will be zero, which which means we have specified the inlet value as zero. Means the hundred percent will be the air, na? Exactly. I am not understanding this. I understand the inlet values is zero. That means yeah. uh, uh, it is the initial condition has been uh, that has been giving that at uh, the boundary condition that uh, uh, values will be zero. Then what? Why the again we are writing is value uniform is equal to zero is zero. Okay, value uniform zero is for the initialization. This is how this boundary condition works. If you go to the syntax, if you don't give this value uniform zero, then it will show an error. Why value is not mentioned? Value keyword is uh, missing, so it will show so that error. Should I add to this point, Viraj? Like, yeah, I want to add. Okay. Uh, actually, this inlet outlet is a derived class from class from mm -hmm. zero gradient. So since it is a derived class, so it's inherent the properties of zero gradient boundary also. So that's why. It will give a code error of value if you don't define the value syntax, but it's not like it is um, playing a part in this boundary condition. It's just a C++ thing. Okay, meaning uh, it is, uh, it has, uh, meaning it will be generally uh, written like that. Meaning uh, you have to give this, this, then you have to write it value uniform is equal to zero. Yeah, yeah, like it's, it's the syntax for this boundary condition. Okay, meaning because why this one? Some place it is values has been writing it. Some place we are not writing it. If that is the inlet bond outlet bonding condition, then might be it is been written always. Or maybe like in, or otherwise like internal field in the value like that it will be written. Okay. 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 Thank you. 
So as you can see here, like see type indirect outlet and indirect value and the value is given. So optional entry is this, but this is the mandatory. See, as you can go oh. to the like user right to do two one one two or even the CFD foundation. So this is the mandatory requirements as Krishna Gandhi has already mentioned. Okay. Still running. So let's go to the paraform. You can even see the mesh. So refined. Surface is irritated to see this. So you can see the it is very refined. You can even go give the grading. Like you can give uh, the fine mesh in near the wall, right? So you can do that. Let's see the alpha dot water. And uh, like this. So this is the result. Uh, hi, Baraj. Uh, so I, if I want to see the vertices also, the points in paraform. So how do I do that? Like, okay. Uh, paraform. Type paraform. Hmm? Yeah. Block. Okay, I can block. Okay, apply this. See, you can see the vertices, right? 0, 4, 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, right? Okay, right. okay. And one more thing, like uh, if I have to see the uh, no, the, uh, the axis, uh, like with, with the values also. Um, with the values, okay, well, nice. This is a nice question. So, access, go to the this properties tab. Okay. And there, there is the access grid. So, you can see the values, see? 0 0.03. So this is the 0 0.03, right? Okay. Okay. And okay. and uh, in the 0 0.024, there uh, above that above this uh, y-axis line, there will be a air cavity. Yeah, like I understand. If you see this, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we have already mentioned in the set field as well. So you can see, like you can play around and check. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Thank you. Now foam clean gas yes, because this is taking much space. Now what I would do is just copy the tutorial uh, for the dam brick case. Okay, I think some of you as I have already done the dam brick. And did you also do the problem like I have given to you? If you have like type case in the chat. And you can even share the screen. Like what what uh, is the result if you make the water level as same as the wall interfoam? And uh, after this, I would go to laminar and dam brick. Inside dam brick, there is also a dam brick. So this and dot. This is the destination fold. So type dam brick. So what? So I have already defined the boundary condition, right? So there is nothing, no, no changes. Uh, only changes is the system and set set field. See, the initial, uh, the default value is zero. We have given, uh, I will also show you the, I would like to like show you side by side. A okay, pair of blocks mesh. I have to give a reference and so block mesh. Okay. So see, we have five blocks. Uh, one like if I give you the blocks, then. One, one and two, three and four and five. If you want to visualize the block, yeah, I would do is block. See, there are, there are five blocks. One, two, three, four, five, right? And these are the vertices, 0, 12, 4, 16. So where the block is defined is, go to the, Nine. Go to the block mystic system. Block mystic. So see, there is five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. So in one block, twenty-three in x-axis, like 
its cells in y axis one in z axis right so these these are defined in the block matrix so it is shown here so if you want to see the surface with edges i think we need color i think we can't see it in order to see that what we do is uh, terraform okay because after the terraform block you have to again type block mesh it will get deleted i guess type terraform so it is it so well, if you want to see the cells here it is fine a bit fine compared to this this is a bit coarser so what we did it was like uh, go to the set filtering system set fill so the entire uh, entire uh, entire domain is initialized with uh alpha dot water as zero which means it is filled with air this entire domain is filled with uh air okay and uh what we define is box to cell as this is the minimum xyz value and this is the maximum xyz value and where we define as alpha dot water as one which is the maximum alpha right this is the maximum alpha uh, the water can get so this is the one we have defined so what it means is so in no, this right. portion yeah 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 uh, so like can you show that uh, set fields did like the alpha dot water one like in correct correct two. i would do that i would do that after running the set field i will i will only able to do that let us set fields we have nine set fields okay so no. no what i am saying is can you show that uh, you know that file um, okay file okay okay uh, file is system check it okay yeah so in this one box to cell like uh, it it's the z values are minus 1 to 1 like uh, because but like our blocks are within the range of 0.1 to 0.1 right why this minus 1 to 1 is there okay let's see for that let's see in this case let's go to the paraform and give the access you as a set is zero to we can check it in that the block block mesh dict also right yeah. so there we have defined the z uh, yeah here see point 1 is there so yeah in the block mesh we have given 0 to 0.1 na uh -huh. and for the set fields we have given 0 to if i uh, go to the minus 1 to 1 like minus 1 to 1 right uh -huh. it doesn't matter like if you even give this zero as a zero then uh, it will do the same thing i think there is some kind of error like we can even do the 0 to uh, 0.1 as you have mentioned hello chetan yes yes yeah yeah so the thing is that set fields dict right it, it it what it does is it selects the region as see viraj is viraj is showing now it selects the region it selects the cells when the okay. command is box to cell it selects all the cells which lie within this box so when you are defining the uh, the box right for okay. you the x and y coordinates are main because they are in the mesh the z coordinates are outside so z value if if you give anything even larger okay. than 0 and 1 it will not matter right 
Okay, okay, understand. Like you're sweeping in that zone, in, uh, in that region, and whatever cells come, they come. So if you give, uh, say, as Biraj said, if you give zero to zero point two, then also it will work fine. If you give a large value, you don't want to think okay, what what will what will it be in the z direction, then also it's fine. Because what matters is this x and y coordinates. Okay, okay. Did you understand? Uh, yeah, understand, understand, understand. Like it, it selects all that is there in that box. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. All those cells, whatever is there in the block, uh, it will select that. And for those cells, it will set the alpha dot order as one. Okay, okay. So only only the cells which are lying in this box. So okay. for this box, our x and y dimensions are main. The z dimension can be large. Anything larger than uh, the thickness of the so, uh, block. So, like the way it is creating box from these uh, dimensions. So these are all uh, th these two are diagonal uh, vertices. Yes. It's like that. Yes, diagonally oh. opposite vertices. So that it okay. uh, it spans the entire box. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. You can even give the zero and uh, one. No, like the the result will be the same. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Understood. Now after that, the set field has already been done. Enter form. Okay, now it's done. So if you want to see the result, apply it and click on alpha dot water. So this water label will outside this wall as well. So what in the next problem, what I uh, would uh, you guys would do is like make the water, water level same as uh, same as this. Like initially this water level is a bit high. So that's why it goes, uh, it, it like passes this wall as well, right? But uh, like make the water level uh, same as this height. Just don't change the X and X and Z value. Just change, just change it. Like to do uh, to do that, uh, what what do we need to change? Can anyone answer? If you have uh, already simulated that, you can even share your screen and uh, tell how you did uh, you did that. Has anybody uh, solved that problem? Like I have given to you, make a water level same as the height of this wall without changing any other thing. Any other thing and simulate. That height is 0.328. Uh, I think I like from blo block mesh dict, I can see it's 0.32876 something. Maybe like, that, how did you calculate? Uh, like, yeah, so because this uh, block one, like, uh, so it is 0, 1, 5 of like that, right? 0, 1 are the like bottom, and mm. 5 is the height of that first block, right? Then I went yeah. to that fifth vertex and then it is 0 0.32876, right? Yeah. Uh, so I think there, like, if you have missed, like, I think you missed the point. I think there is something you need to check. Like, what, what is the thing? You Yeah, you are correct, but partially correct. Does anybody have any answer about it? Also, I have one doubt uh, regarding right. this. Uh, so when you are showing the, like, you know, that figure in open form. Yes. Um, so, so yeah, I can see height as somewhere around 0. 0.56 something. But like yeah. in the, in the block mesh dict file, mm -hmm. I can see uh, the maximum height as uh, uh, like uh, 4 mm. Uh, That's correct. Uh, yeah, you are uh, like, you are giving a in, like what? What is uh, what is that? Yeah, you are uh, like you are you are asking the same question, but the answer is uh, okay. same for the both case for both of the cases. Okay, I will give you like one minute, like to figure it out. Okay, I see a convert to meters is point one four six. I think that factor has to be accounted. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Understand. Yeah, yeah. Thank so you. what will be the water level? I think that 0.32876 into more multiplication by like 0.146. That type yeah, of correct, correct. So yeah. So where where do you like uh, plug that number in? And set uh, that set uh, fields dict. Yeah, you can you can simulate and share your results. 
Oh, okay, let's change. change. Yeah, do that. I think everyone has uh, got the got what I meant. I think are you simulating? Yes, I'm, I'm simulating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you are done, like uh, you can share a screen, like just unmute yourself. I will give the sharing option. Yeah, I just changed the file. Like I think I have to run it now. So yeah, one. Okay, okay. Do that. Do that. So I have simulated, but like uh, that water is not moving actually. So it's but the height is same. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Uh, yeah, you can share your screen. Like let's yeah, see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is what I got. Like, but when I do it. Nothing is happening there. Can you close that uh, para view? Yeah. Yeah. And the type address. What you missed was reconstruct path. Do reconstruct. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, R E C O N S T R. Tap, tap. Yes, correct. Okay, okay. okay. Now, now you will get the result. Type okay, who's that? And apply. Hmm. Yeah. Now you are getting right. Right. See, the right. water doesn't Hopefully, flow. Yeah. Much. Doesn't cost that uh, right. wall. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. what you did was uh, just go to the like what you did. Uh, show them to the participants as well. So I went to this uh, set fields dict and yeah, I yeah, changed yeah. this value here, the y value. Yes, this minimum value, this value. I think that's the height of the the dam. So which also, had, yeah, this is the value I calculated that point three two eight seven six that height into that multiplication factor. So, also show them the block mistake because uh, they don't know how the like one. Yeah, the way is. I have done is like uh, this zero one. Mm -hmm. So I have seen like uh, how these vertices are there in the that block. Right. So yeah, and then like uh, zero one is the bottom point and five is, is the height of that uh, dam, right? Yes. So and I have to go to that fifth vertex, right? And zero one two three four five like this the height. Yeah. So like from here I have got the height of the dam and then point and one multiply four, with, with point the zero point one four six. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So that is how you obtain the y value. And yeah, put exactly. that number in the set field. So that, yeah, that exactly. will be yes. Yeah. yeah, that is how we do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Chaitanya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I think everyone uh, got like the results after uh, changing the water level height. So I would like to end over the session to pile them. Okay. So any feedback on this session? Any more doubts? I can't means understand the last part of that uh, means how to just uh, change the dimension or uh, change the height. That's just, uh, just one concern. Okay. Uh, maybe Biraj can uh, uh, reply to this. Okay. Okay. I will show you the demonstration. What I want you to do is just make the water level height same as this wall. Okay. So to do that, so I want to see the block and vertices. Like what is the height of this vertices? So in order to, to see that, I would go to the system and block mystic. So in that, so you can see the convert to meters is given 0 0.146. So what, what it does is it multiplies every value and uh, makes it. So you can see like there is no four number in, in this, right? So it got multiplied by 0 0.146 and uh, that is the result explained here. So what is this height? So what is the height of this uh, coordinate? I go to the, I would type the command paraform block, right? So click on apply. So see, 17 and 13, right? If you subtract the coordinates of like y axis, 17 minus 13, then you will get the y axis, right? Why the we will get the height, right? So in order to do that, 13 and 17, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the y is 0. 
but for 17 14 15 16 17 the 17 y value is 0 0.32876 so you need to multiply this value 0 0.32876 so if you go to the if you calculate here so 0 0.32 8.6 right, into 0 0.146 will give like 0 0.0479. So what you do is go to the set field and change the y value 0, 0, minus 1 and change this value which is 0 0.0479. So now the water level will be will decrease. See the water level is like as you can see in the previous photo, you, you can see the water level is here. So I want to decrease it. So uh, first block mesh, type the block mesh command. And after that, set fills. And after that, type interform to run the simulation. Now it's over. So let's go to the paraform. See, alpha dot water. So it, it has been decreased. So in the previous image, the water level is at this height. Now I have I have decreased it. Now let's see the simulation. See, let few water will only cross over this bridge or over this wall. That is why how we do it. So understood? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. I hope everyone uh, got it. So thank you. So for today we are ending the session here. Thanks a lot for joining and interacting so much. I hope it was a useful day for you also. So with this, I say bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>